First, let me say, I think that uh, what's happened in New Hampshire and around the country with the opiate epidemic is obscene. Uh, it's, and it's negligence on the part of the federal government because the federal government turned a blind eye while Purdue Pharma dispensed hundreds of thousands of OxyContin prescriptions saying this is non-addictive. And then that, uh, that set of prescriptions has now morphed into heroin and fentanyl and it's killed people. Eight Americans die of overdoses every hour now. And this is a crisis, but it's a crisis that the federal government was in, in part to blame for. So the first thing I would do is I would go to Purdue Pharma and I'd say, hey, you made $15 billion on the backs of the American people. It's blood money. We're going to get that money back and we're going to fund treatment. And then the federal government's going to say it is our fault in part that this happened and we're going to channel all the resources that you need to at least give these kids and people in your families and communities a fighting chance. Because this is not a money problem, this is a human problem. But money should not be the obstacle, and if I'm president, it will not be. Thank you, Jennifer.